My name is Dr. Simon Freyler, consultant in clinical neurophysiology. I was recently asked by one of the viewers to explain how we set up protocols in the Dantec Keypoint.net system. This is how it's done. From the home screen, there's a small button at the bottom of the page called Options, which we'll click. This brings up the applications list. If we right click here, it brings up a small little box and we can click on New. This will start up your own personal application. In the Create Application setting, you don't need to press anything other than Create at this point. It might take several minutes to get going, but eventually you'll be brought to the Application Details screen. Here you can change the name from default to, for example, Simon or Neurophysiology and make it more personalised. This is very helpful if a number of different people are using the same machine. Everyone can have it set up according to their own tastes. After you've done this, it automatically goes on to test menu design. And here we have the standard sidebar, neurography, EMG, reflexes, evoke potential, other tests, and then protocols. A number of protocols are set up as standard, but we're going to show you how to do this from scratch. It's important to note though that whichever way you leave the menu design bar in the design stage is how you're going to see it when you're actually using the program. So for example if we just click on left CTS here all these sensory and motor studies come up and that's how you're going to see it fully expanded in the final version. So it's important if you want to keep a tidy page to make sure you minimize things afterwards. Coming back to our menu design, so we're going to click on the small little star over here to add a new protocol and what I'm going to do is bring up this little box which says new. In it we choose protocol and in this example I'm going to show you how to set up a brachial plexus protocol and this will be for the right hand side. So I've just typed in the name right brachial plexus and we'll click OK. And you can now see that this is now populated within the selection of protocols. Underneath it is a small little star which we can press and it will bring us the option to start adding tests in. So under the name, which is what the test is going to appear as on your title bar in the main program, let's type in median sensory. We'll select from the test template the sensory nerve group from the median nerve set and make sure it's from the right hand side. This now appears in the selection of the protocols. We can then add, for example, the ulnar sensory nerve, radial sensory nerve, antibrachial sensory nerves in exactly the same way. Let's add in motor studies. So here, clicking still in the same group on the little star, and I've typed in median motor. This time, test template, we've selected the motor protocols from the median nerve set. And again, make sure it's on the appropriate side, and we're going to click OK, and we'll carry on doing this. So now we've got the median and ulnar motor studies in there. This time around, I want to add in the radial motor study, and it's not as standard set up to do this in the test template design. So if I type in radial motor here, go to the motor template, in the anatomy set, I haven't as yet got the radial motor study. So we're going to have to add this in. So the way we're going to do that is very simply by going to the left side of the bar and click on test template design. This brings up all the different test templates and we're going to choose motor. In the anatomy set here, you will not see the radial nerve and this is what we're going to add now by clicking on the small little star over here. On the signal type, we click on this star and we just click down on the little box over here and we can choose motor, sensory, F-ways, whatever. And here we're setting up the radial motor study, so we go for motor and then we go for the radial nerve, stimulating position we can choose from the click downs. So it would be forearm would be the first one, recording position I choose to do on the EIP muscle. And then we can just click, keep clicking on the small little star over here to keep adding extra points where we're going to be stimulating. In the segments, you can specify set distances if you want, and you can decide how you want to have these presented by including and excluding things, um, but they'll all now appear 
on the test itself. You'll now see on the anatomy set, if we click on the back button, um, that the radial nerve set is included in the anatomy set. And I also had a lack of an antibrachial cutaneous uh, set of studies in there. So what I've done is also similar process, go to test template design, click on the sensory box and um, over here. And we've now added in the antibrachial uh, sites as well. Again, you can choose if you want to put in a fixed distance or not, entirely up to you. So here we can see that the antibrachial sensory responses are now included and we can go back to test menu design, back to our right brachial plexus set, let's say click on the antibrachial sensory, previously I didn't have this loaded up as the anatomy set so I can now click down on the anatomy set and we can see that the antibrachial cutaneous responses are now here and those have been updated. Um, I've now added in some extra EMG as well. And we can now save a tremendous amount of time by duplicating the tests, but for the left-hand side. So if you go to where the right brachial plexus protocol heading was, we right-click on it and we can go switch side during copy. This will duplicate the entire set but this time everything on the left hand side. We still need to change the title of the protocol by clicking on, right clicking and then edit. And then we just type in left brachial plexus and that's it. So now we have very nicely right brachial plexus, left brachial plexus, and on this particular set of protocols, that's all ready and good to go. I can't emphasize enough the importance of using standardized settings for the sweep sensitivity and filter when performing your physiological studies. I highly and strongly recommend using AA NEM settings. You can see them over here. You can also um, tick box whichever markings you want to see displayed. These are the sensory settings, F responses, H reflex, EMG settings, Repetitive nerve stimulation, blink reflex, single fibre voluntary, single fibre stimulated. I hope that this has been useful and if there are any questions please do let me know. Thank you for watching this video.